So next, what I'd like to do is start with, um, I want to go next to, we're going to come back to these other um, DICOM uh, commands, uh, DCMTK commands. I, I want to, because in order to use them, we need to have, we need to be able to have some images, <clears throat> actually uh, DICOM images. So let's download some DICOM images. We can download them by using this link here. All right, so this is the National Biomedical Imaging Archive. Um, this is a query, uh, this is a public uh, images, and it's for research community, industry, academia, and, and academia. So this is a public use available. There is no login required. So we'll just come right here. To, and, and I found this by just doing a, a, a Google search. Uh, just trying to find Diacom images for testing purposes, research, you know, academia, and things of that nature. And this is one of the one of the websites that uh, I came across. So this is what we're going to use for our for our for our training purposes. When you click on search, you come here to their simple search uh, screen, and then we can just choose any studies here. All right, so we can do multiple, but I only want to, let's just do the first study here. We can, and then we'll click it to add to basket. Then if we go to manage data basket, it shows us, it shows us all of these um, series in the study. So each uh, study, a study has within it has series because each uh, and each series has a number of images. So that's how studies are 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 broken down. So let's just go ahead and uh, and it tells you um, how long it's estimated to download, the size of the study. Before we download it, we're going to have to install. Java runtime. So if you don't have Java runtime, you can install it. If you don't, we'll walk through this real quick here. Java runtime. Windows online, Windows offline. Uh, if you have a Mac OS X, you can use that. We'll just do Windows online. Click on Let's install Java Runtime. Okay, and then you know when Java Runtime is installed. If you go to, oh, it's just still installing. Okay, so I just paused the video while the install completed. So, okay, and you can tell when Java is installed by going to control panel, then you'll have your Java control panel here. You can click on that, and it'll come here, update Java. About, click on about, and it'll tell you what version of Java you have installed if you needed to know that. And again, we need Java installed because in order to in order to be able to download the actual images. Okay, so now we have our study. We have one study selected. It's 400 megs. So we'll just do with the one study so far, but you can download multiple studies. Uh, if you wanted to. Now we're going to click on Manage Data Basket. Oh, this is Manage Data Basket. Uh, we're going to click on Download Manager. 
It's going to download the um, JNLP file. We want to say keep. And then we want to, let's see here, show in folder. So this is the file that it downloaded. And let's open with Java Runtime Web Launcher. This is what we want. Okay, not started. So now, we need to search directory for downloaded files. So let's choose a place where we want it to install. Uh, excuse me, download the files. Okay, and let's start. Pretty quick. This will be downloading, and um, you'll see the download process once it's done. And again, this is for this is for all the all of the. Um, series and for this is just for one study. So here is the most likely. This is the description study description. Here is the and, and again these are all anonymized studies, um, so they are un, unident, un, unidentifiable, of course. So here, the patient ID. And you have the here you have the study instance UID. So it looks like we have a study instance UID. We have more than one study. Then we have downloaded. It looks like we've downloaded one, two, three, four studies. You have the series instance UID, number of images. And so once this completes, I will um, I'll pause the video, but um, you know, <clears throat> wait for these uh, the rest of these images to to complete downloading. All right, so all of the downloads have completed, and uh, just to just to re re mention what the you recall that the study instance UID is the actual unique identifier, the unique identifier, the UID which, you know, that's what UID stands for, unique identifier for the particular study. So I know here that we have multiple studies, more than one study, because we have multiple study, study instance UIDs. So two, three, that's how I know that we have four studies. So this is completed. We can... Uh, Can't highlight them all and delete. Let's just uh, we'll just close them for now. All right. So now, if we go to our folder, description, patient, patient ID. And these are the four studies. If 
we go into the first folder for the study instance. This is the actual study instance UID that we saw. It's just a string of string of numbers. Click on that. Here are the series. Yeah. So if you click on, if you go back, so let's start over. So let's go. So this is the patient ID. Here are the studies, the, the four studies for this patient. We click on the first, and this is the, you know, these are the four study instance UIDs. Let's go, click on the first folder, study. These are the three series under that study, in, the, in this particular study. And, and, these, and, each, and this is the, in the series instance UID for each one of these series. So each series has a series instance UID as well. And you can imagine if we go down to the image, so this is at the series level. If we go down to the, click on one of these series folders, go down to the images, these are the actual images here. And now you can see the actual images. So this is... Uh, just a quick overview of how you can download test images. You can go back to the, um, to the website uh, here, and you can always download additional images, uh, additional studies, as much as you want to test or do or play, uh, play with. But this is just a, uh, an overview on how, on how you actually download the images, get them down to your workstation. Next, we're going to be working with... Uh, Next, we're going to work with actually uploading these images into your uh, Diacom server, and also we're going to we're going to play we're going to be playing around with these with these studies with, with these images. All right, um, thank you.